Wait. So I actually brought my entire trumpet to play to show you, and Sorg's like, "No, you're not good enough." No, <laughs> you know, hey, I said no, we're no, trying no. to build an audience here, I not try, chase one I away. Just, no, <laughs> so. no, no, no. I, I looked at the hookups on the device, and it was going to be problematic to get it into the system this week. So he's trying to be yes. nice. He was like, no, "We're looking to build an audience. We don't want to chase people away." That's that's a disaster. And the reason why I was going to play the trumpet is because I have this cool trumpet mute. I I just started getting back into the trumpet. I had mm-hmm. played for, for many years, um, all through like grade school. Um, graduated high school, played a little bit after that, and then I haven't touched it in at least 10 years or more. I wanted to start playing again, but trumpet, any brass instrument, as you know, as a, as a trombone player yeah, yourself, I'm a boner. Sorg. Yeah, he's yep. a boner. Uh, anytime you have a brass instrument, it, it's difficult to practice because, you know, other people exist in the world, especially mm-hmm. if you're in like a duplex or an apartment complex. Mm-hmm. So I was talking to a friend who also plays the trombone and he said, you sh- I should look into silent brass. He said he was interested in that. I never heard of silent brass before. So I got one. It's this mute that you stick into the end of the horn. And when you have this in there, it silences the instruments to a, such a low level that if you're in like the next room over and you just have a TV on at like not even a high volume, like medium to medium low, you wouldn't even know someone was playing in the other mm-hmm. room. It's that quiet. At the end of the mute, you've got a, an auxiliary cable that goes out into this converter, and then you have a slot for your headphones there. Put the headphones on, and then you can actually hear your trumpet as if you had no mute put into the, uh, the instrument at all. So hmm. it's really great, and it's and it's a true representation of what you're playing. It's a little bit of a of a, of a variance, but yeah. not much. And you can actually tell while listening with headphones on whether you're sharp or flat. Um, so basically, if you're in tune or not for no for people who haven't played, um, you can if you, if you know you you're like me and your amateur is completely wrecked because you haven't played in years. You can hear when you crack the notes. Um, all of that. It, it's as if you don't have a mute in at all. It's mm-hmm. super cool. And it's it's really not that expensive for what all it does. Uh, mine was, um, before taxes, it was like 179 I think. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little bit more for like a trombone or a baritone or a tuba just because the, the mute is bigger and, and stuff like that. But it's not that much more, I don't think. So this um, is, um, and this is more, it's for that live uh, uh, monitoring, hearing yourself. It, it, this is not necessarily a device that's for, you know, maybe the fidelity enough for, for recording or anything like that, right? I, I think you actually could record on it. I don't know that I would record on it for, like, you know, to, to sell a CD. Yeah, but yeah, probably not for, like, an audio professional or anything Yeah, like but that. it's definitely, if you wanted to record and then, I, I think it's a good enough quality that you could record your work and then critique it and improve yourself that way. I do think it's that mm-hmm. high enough quality. Interesting. Um, I actually ran it. It's funny. I bought this thing. I went down to the, I, I walked right here past the studio down mm-hmm. to Dormont, uh, got a coffee down there at the Muddy Cup, and uh, while I was there, uh, slice was closed. I, I smelled it. You know, they were open. They were on their way to open. I thought, oh man, if I could stop here, but they weren't open. So I went down there. I'm <laughs> sitting there. I started talking with this guy. Um, and it turns out he's a professional trumpet player. Guess what he uses? Silent brass. He told, he tells me he goes on trips and he actually plays his trumpet in the hotel room mm. and nobody, there's no complaints because nobody can hear him. It's that quiet. Crazy hotel room. That's not you know. That's so small. Yes, trust me and trust me. I've heard interesting things through the walls, in the hotel room. Oh, I'm sure. Or in the hallway. Very interesting things. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. No, it's like it, like you feel like you're in a room of cardboard. It's so thin sometimes. Yeah, and to but be able to incredible. play it. Can you imagine playing your trombone in a hotel room oh, and get no one? Out. Yeah. Is the is the end of the mute? Is that like a headphone jack? And that's what's the other pieces plugged into does yeah. it come out or it goes, it goes out of the mute so this is the end of the mute so th- this is the you know the end obviously your trumpet's right. going in but is that is so. that removable that that thing yeah. right there is that okay yeah so if it the cord breaks you can just get another one mm-hmm. um or plug in, uh, anything else as a quarter inch too right yeah and yeah, it i was also... thinking like a bluetooth transmitter i was thinking all kinds of stuff mm-hmm. oh yeah and what's cool about it too is um there's an auxiliary in as well as the, the headphone uh, out. So you can do all sorts of different things uh, with this. And it has a volume control on it as well. 
um, so you can set the volume to you know to what works for your ears. <laughs> uh, partner says you can you can you can see parents loving the mute. Uh, oh, yeah. So like like yeah, you gotta think you know how many how many kids are. Uh, probably not as much as it used to, you know, coming home with instruments like this. And, and again, you know, I, 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 you know, I lived in the middle of nowhere. Practically my trombone was not a problem, um, except for my parents' ears. Uh, but, but, uh, you know, next neighbor was like, you know, uh, half a mile away, a quarter mile away, something like that. Um, but you, you know, for anything, anybody in the city, yeah, absolutely. So you brought up a like great point because when I was a kid, my dad is actually watching awesome cast right now. So, uh, shout out to my dad, Tim Crawford. And when I was a kid, my first trumpet was his hand-me-down trumpet. Mm-hmm. I was told that I was allowed to play one. When I wanted to play an instrument, I was told I could play one of two instruments. One was the trumpet because we had uh, the hand-me-down. And the other one was the drums because you had a drum pad and mm-hmm. it would dim the noise. <laughs> well, nowadays with technology, mm-hmm. that's not an issue. Because you can now, it ended up working out for me because the only two instruments I wanted to play <laughs> were trumpet and drums. It's a little, um, you know, a little costly, but I mean, you know, getting into it very like I remember my parents had payments for for it seemed like forever for our trombone. Uh, so and that's why I still have it. That's why I never got rid of it because I knew how much oh, it's my parents put in for yeah. it, something like that. Well, a new trumpet because so, I was looking mm-hmm. to get a new trumpet and I, I I ended up getting like a middle of the road. Yeah, the high top yeah. end. You're looking at like one to three thousand. Mm-hmm. dollars for mm-hmm. you know for a new trumpet um yeah. so that's awesome so that is the silent brass from yamaha yep that you can get over there um and we got a link that'll go right to the uh the, the page on yamaha uh for that it's got a listing of stores where you can pick it up too i'm sure it's probably on amazon or something too it is actually that's where i got it was on excellent. amazon so excellent go check that out